Hello and welcome to my salon. My name is Michael Bates and I'm here today to share with you some great techniques on perming from Matrix. Today we're going to do the man wave. So we're going to show how to do texture and perming on guys' hair. We're going to be working with a biolage acid wave and we've prepared the hair with the Matrix Total Results product. So let's get started. So it's important to keep the hair evenly damp. So as you're working, continue to spray with a water bottle. Work the moisture through the hair. And we can also work with Matrix Instacure, which is a great leave-in conditioner to help balance the porosity in the hair. We don't want to oversaturate with this, but be sure to put a small amount in the hair, especially if it is color treated or had previous chemical service through the links. So evenly work that through. And we did prime or prepare the hair with our alternate action shampoo. So we're gonna start by taking sections the size of our perm rod. So we wanna go about a half an inch. We wanna comb everything up smooth. I'm gonna turn you on a little bit of an angle so they can see the angle here. Comb everything smooth with tension between those two fingers. And then we're gonna use two end papers and flap them together. So I put one down first, hold it, and then put down my second end paper. And then you can put a little bit of light water on there and that kind of glues everything together. So it's gonna give you extra tension and support. So once they're stuck together, that's gonna to help keep all those ends in place. Then we're gonna go in with our perm rod that we're working with or our texture tool slide out just a little bit to make sure all those ends are straight. Once you have everything going in the same direction on the ends, then you can begin to roll down on scalp. Once you get there, bring your arm across and lock that into place. I am working with a rod that's not concave. These are straight across rods. A traditional concave rod is a little bit bigger on the ends and smaller in the center. What that will tend to do is give you a faster or tighter curl on the ends and slightly larger towards the new growth or towards the scalp area. By working with a straight rod, what that's gonna do is give you an even curl pattern from scalp to ends. So we're gonna work with straight rods for this man wave technique today. We're gonna to start, tilt down, by doing like a mohawk section right down the center. So we're gonna start in the front fringe and just work right back to the crown and you wanna work the width and the depth of your rod. So we wanna go about a half inch deep and only as wide as your perm rod is for your sectioning. Again, keep an even amount of saturation in the hair so it's easier to work with. And just work with your sections that will be as wide as that perm rod or your texture tool that you're working with. Comb smooth, comb from the underneath and feather everything up. Put your first paper in the front. Hold that in place. Come in with your other paper in the back. Give that a little shot of water and glue those two papers together. Slide it up past those ends to seal everything in the same direction. Put your rod into the links and then slide past the ends to make them nice and smooth and all in the same direction and roll down. Anchor across, and we're just going to continue that pattern and that mohawk going straight back. So some people tend to think that coarse hair is harder to curl or will take that harder to take that curl. Actually, it's kind of the opposite. Once you get really straight, thick, coarse hair to curl, it will stay curled. So you wanna be conscious that you don't go in with a super strong perm or really small rods because it's gonna really hold that shape. So if you would go in with a tiny rod, like a little pink rod or something that's maybe only a quarter inch, that's really gonna take a really fast or tight curl pattern. And if you're just looking for a natural look or some body, that's gonna to be too much. Um, same thing as you might not wanna go in with a really strong exothermic perm if you're just looking for some texture and some body in the hair, you can usually use an acid wave or a neutral pH wave just to get those great natural looks and add some body and texture. 
The look we're going for is kind of beachy, so you could wear it naturally curly, run your fingers through it, or if you decide to blow it out or style it, it'll be more like a punk pompadour kind of look to give you that body and volume in the hair. So for this one, for comfort, I went from behind. So I'll turn this way so you can see. I'll put the other end paper on top, pinch that together, add a little bit of water to that section, and then slide up and past, and then begin to roll down. So I put my rod in through the lengths, and then I'm able to roll right down to the scalp area. Okay, so if they slip or pop, what you can do is add a second end paper to it. So I'll show you that technique. Because on guys' hair, a lot of times we have shorter lengths. So this might only be two or three inches long on the top, and it's a little bit harder to get a hold of that hair. So let's do that again. So we'll go from the underneath, place that in closer to the scalp, put another paper on top, wet that down, slide out, and now if those ends are gonna pop, we can put another paper right on top of that again. So we almost have three papers in there to give us additional length and control. And then we're gonna be able to wrap that in and have it stay in place and be secure. So by putting in those end papers, we've gained an inch of length to be able to have that tension as we wrap to get that to go right down into place. Okay, go ahead and tilt down. So now that time by adding that extra paper, I had the control to hold it. We could also drop down our rod size as the hair begins to get shorter. So I'm gonna do an alternating wrap here and I'm gonna add in some of the smaller size, which would be our gray size as well. So again, even moisture. Comb smooth from underneath. I'm gonna put my end paper underneath this time because I'm working from the back. Get a good grip and I have some shorter hairs that are starting to pop out here. So I'll probably do that double paper again there. Get that control. Slide out just a bit. I can put in my second paper on top of that to get more control. And now I'm gonna go in with a gray rod and wrap down to get that nice and secure. Awesome. Okay. So we prepared the hair with alternate action from Total Results. And it's a great pro solution tip is to prepare the hair properly. So we want to cleanse to make sure that all of that product is off of the hair. A lot of people use pomades with a lot of oil in them or heavy hairspray buildup. So by using alternate in action shampoo from Total Results Pro Solutions, you're able to chelate and get all of that product out of the hair. It'll lather up really nice. Now once you've gotten all the product off, if they are color treated or highlighted, maybe they had a previous perm on their hair, we could use 5 Plus Proto Pack from Total Results Pro Solutions as well. And what that's going to do is add the protein back into the hair and make it strong. So we all know the hair is made up of moisture, which makes it soft and flexible, and protein is what makes it strong. So by adding that in as a pre-treat, on previously chemically treated hair, such as a blonde, a previous perm, or maybe just multiple color services, that's going to prime and prepare your surface to have the best result in our end. So now we're here in the back again, coming in from underneath. I'm doing an alternating wrap when it gets shorter back here, so I'm going to go back to my gray on top, add in the water, glues those ends together, gives me a lot of control. Again, by doing two papers, it's gonna increase the length of that hair, and I can just wrap right in there and have control of that. And then once you get to this point, it's gonna be a transitional point. So for this one, I'm actually gonna do a zigzag pattern or almost like a weave as if you were doing a highlight, and that's gonna help transition the short straight hair into the curled hair. I'm also gonna probably end on a larger rod, so that way it's just gonna give me a little bit of a bump rather than a tight curl before it transitions into the straighter hair where his fade is. So we'll take that section. I'll go in and do a zigzag or a weave pattern off of that to help transition those two sections together. And now I'm definitely going to use that two end paper technique there. So one underneath, 
one on top, and then I'll be able to roll right down. Perfect, so that's our top mohawk section. Another thing you can do is use picks or stabilizers, and what that's gonna do is help give us control of those sections so they don't rock or fall forward. And when you put stabilizers or picks in, you wanna put them in the edges, not on the hair, just on the edges, and you wanna remove any pressure off of that hair strand. So I put them on the corners, not on the hair, and I wanted to make sure those elastics aren't really tight or having pressure there. I'm gonna go through and just put a few more here on the sides where it's a little bit shorter, and then we're gonna go on with our processing with our lotion. Clean combing, same size as your rods. And now I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit so you can see how this is wrapped up. And we'll talk some more once I get the solution going on. Fantastic, now we have that all wrapped, finished the wrap. And if there are any pieces like right here that are starting to pop, I'm gonna show you a technique called a lotion wrap. So basically just a few down on the sides, a mohawk section here, a few down on the sides there, and that's your wrap. So really quick and easy. And I'm gonna rewrap this one and I'm gonna show you with a lotion wrap how to get control of that. So always read your manufacturer's directions that come with your perms. Inside you have your processing cap and you also have your timing and application chart. It gives you all the information that you need for processing your texture in all your different languages. So you just want to read in your chart here, see what type of hair you're working on. If it's more resistant, you can be on 20 to 35 minutes with this particular perm. If it's more fragile or tinted hair, it might only be on five, 10, 15 minutes. Just check every five minutes to do a strand test and see how it is. So for this one, we have a solution and we have an activator that gets mixed together. Again, always check that. We also have two components. We have a solution and we have a neutralizer. So as soon as I open my box, my tip is to take the neutralizer right back to the back bar where you'll be rinsing. That way you don't get them mixed up. So always double read what you have as your activator and your solution and combine your two and put the neutralizer already back at the back bar so it doesn't get mixed up. Done that once or two myself. So open up your little cap just by twisting that off, unscrew the lid of the perm solution, and mix those two components together. And you just wanna gently squeeze that in, you don't wanna force any of that product. Make sure your lid is back on and secure. And then you gently just wanna to toss it back and forth. You don't wanna shake it like crazy, you just wanna combine the two components together. So just a gentle flip upside down. Once that's emulsified together, it is now activated. Use a T-pin or a wig pin, and you wanna just go right into the center of that top and pierce that with a T-pin or a wig pin to begin that part of it. If you snip it off with a scissor, you could tend to get too much product coming out of your perm bottle too fast and oversaturating or risk it running onto hair that we don't want. So for this wrap, we're just doing the top. So I'm actually gonna go through and use a little bit of barrier cream to separate this. There are other barrier creams out there, but I uh, love to use Sleek Total Results Conditioner because it has the jojoba butter in there. So I like to use that as a nice barrier cream just to protect the other hair, the scalp and skin, if any of that product would happen to drip or run. So I'm just gonna apply that all the way around the hair that is not wrapped. If it was on a traditional perm, you would just put it around the hairline and around the tips of the ears and around the nape. So I'm just gonna work this all the way around. 
and a little bit more around that hairline, any fragile sensitive areas that you have. So that is our barrier cream. And now we're gonna use a piece of cotton and we'll drape that around when we're ready to wrap. And then I'm going to give my guest a towel in case anything gets drippy at all. So if that drips or run, feel free to use that or hold that up towards your hairline if anything starts running on you. So I'm gonna take this one out and I'm gonna rewrap that one with a little bit of the perm solution. So that's called a lotion wrap. So if you have any clients that have really resistant hair or it pokes out or it's a little bit too short to really get that good control in there, a lotion wrap is a great way to get a little bit of that control on that hair. So just wrap that around your finger. If you're sensitive, please wear a pair of gloves and just put a couple drops of that solution on that strand of hair. And then go ahead and just do it like you just did a moment ago. So put your end paper in, put your end paper on top. In this, instead of using water, put a little bit more solution on that end paper. It does tend to get a little slippery, but it's gonna help soften that hair strand by starting the perming process. So now you're gonna be able to wrap that right in and it's gonna stick right in place. Perfect, so now all those pokey ends just went right into place. Fantastic. All right, and again, if you need any stabilizers anywhere, you can put them towards the front or back, just so you don't have them actually on the hair strand itself. That'll help keep them in place while you're rinsing, and it'll also keep there from being any tension points on that strand of hair. Okay, everything looks great. So we're now gonna put our cotton on, and the cotton is important to protect this client's skin from anything running or dripping, and you can just tuck that rather in to those corner sections or tie it up into itself. And for this type of perm, just make sure that it's pushing everything down. We don't wanna accidentally catch any of those hair and have them perm sticking straight out. So push it down so all that hair underneath is laying down. We're now gonna go through, use a towel for yourself and make sure your client has theirs. And we're gonna begin the actual saturation process. So we're gonna go through and do one line across the top and one line across the bottom. So what I mean by that is we're not gonna take the perm solution, grab it, and squeeze like a fire hose and spray all over everything. We wanna have control the whole time, and we're gonna go across the top and the back or the middle of each rod with one, two passes to make sure it evenly saturates through and we don't have a ton of product running all over. So start with a pattern. You can put your towel there to help protect. I'm gonna go across the front and the back, the front and the back, and I'm just gonna work in a pattern. I'm also letting go so you can see it's not squirting when I move on to my next rod. And I'm having control so it's not running on all of the hair that we're not perming as well. and then you can go back and do one third pass on each rod to make sure they're all saturated. So front and back, and then one final pass once that product saturates in. And then once you have everything saturated, we then take our processing cap, open that up. You want the seams to be in the back and the front. So put that seam in the back, tuck it down, pull towards the front, take that top corner, and you'll be able to twist that right together, and then you can tuck this little end that you created by twirling that up right in. Kind of like if you're wrapping your hair in a towel, same kind of process. And then just tuck that right in in the top. So we're gonna check the perm every five minutes to see how we're proceeding. We're probably gonna do a 20 minute timing for this, then we'll be going back to the sink to rinse and neutralize. Okay, so our 20 minute timer has beeped and we're back at the shampoo bowl at the sink and we wanna take out one of our rods and unroll three quarters to halfway out. And you wanna be able to see that curl patterns falling in. When you're working with an acid wave, it's gonna be a soft C shape. If you're working with an alkaline wave, you're gonna see a really long, strong curl pattern. But with an acid wave like this, it'll be just a nice C pattern. That looks great. I'm gonna roll that back in. If you need to, always keep your end papers close at hand. 
So you can pop one back in to make sure that rolls right back into place nice. And roll back in right on base, same position. Another great trick you can do before you start rinsing to help get out that perm smell is to use paper towels. And what you want to do with a paper towel is just like you normally would is towel blot with a paper towel on each rod. And what that's going to do is help absorb more of that solution straight out of the hair before you start rinsing. And that's going to help reduce any of the perm odor and give you a better end result because we're getting more of that perm solution out of the hair. So again, just use a paper towel and blot each rod first and that's going to get more solution out. As we rinse, we're going to use medium to low pressure so we don't blast all of our perm rods right back out of the hair. And we're going to use a temperature that's as warm as the customer can comfortably stand. Now we don't need to use scalding hot water, but you do want to use warm that is as comfortable for them. The warmer the water, the better it's going to set that curl into the hair. Another thing we're probably going to do is when we get to the end part when we start to neutralize all of these ones that are at a transition point i will take them out and comb them with a wide tooth comb in the direction that i want and i will neutralize them off of the rod so that way it's going to be a softer transition between the short straight hair and the new curled hair now we'll rinse we're going to rinse with the direction that the rods were rolled and we're going to use warm water with low pressure And we'll set a five minute timer. And then again, rinse in the same direction as you rolled the rods. A good trick is to count to three on each rod. And if anything slips out, you could just re-roll before you put on your neutralizer. Okay, so we finished rinsing and we had some of the shorter ones pop out at the bottom, which is fine because I'm taking them out anyway. And then again, we'll towel blot to get out the excess moisture from our rinse and kind of squeeze each rod to get as much moisture as you can out of that hair. You don't want the excess water, or any residue of perm solution left in there. So we'll take that off. When you use a paper towel again, you can do that as well. And that way you're sure you get all that perm solution and water out. And then like I said, to have a nice transition, we're gonna pop out some of these ones on the side here and we're gonna comb that down so it kind of blends the two sections together. I'll put a stabilizer here so I don't have any tension points. That looks good. And then I'm just gonna gently work this into a shape that I want it to be. Looks good. Okay. Do you have your towel? Okay, so I'm going to take this cotton off and I'm going to put a fresh piece of cotton on for you. Again, making sure all that hair is laying down. I'm not pushing anything up. Okay, and then I'm going to have you sit up just slightly. There you go. I'm going to give you a fresh towel for here. Now this part is important to have them sit up, especially if you're just doing a shorter perm. Because if they have short hair here and you have the straight hair here, if they lean against the sink and you put the neutralizer on, you could get a dent in the back of your hairstyle there. So we wanna have them sitting up just in case any of that neutralizer drips down there so we don't get a weird dent or mark. So have them gently sit up, fresh cotton, and then again, we'll do the same technique with the solution. I'll zoom back in so you can see that really well. 
is we're going to go top and bottom or front and back of each rut with control. Do you have your towel? I'm going to do the front now. Mm -hmm. And then the hair that we dropped out, we'll just push that down into place and put a small amount on there and work that in to blend with the other hair. That's going to be great. So you'll still have some body and texture, but we're not going to have anything sticking up or being unregular. And it will neutralize perfectly with the rest of the hair. And then again, one final pass over each. neutralized. If it's longer hair, save a little bit of your neutralizer for the end. Once we drop these, we'll work it all through everything and that'll help get out any of the lines or roller marks. If there was too much tension or a separation point, we're going to massage this last little bit through and that's going to help make sure there's no marks of demarcation lines from where the perm rod sat in the service. And we will now process for five more minutes. We'll remove all our rods, emulsify through, rinse for another five and then we have a trick after that we're going to use our biolage acid milk rinse and that's going to be an amazing product that's going to be able to go through and help seal down the cuticle and it's also going to put a soft coconut fragrance to the hair so that way you don't have that perm smell which is especially great for dudes because you don't want to go around smelling like a beauty shop when you got the man wave going on so we'll be back in a few minutes after we rinse and drop Okay, so our five minutes is up. We're now gonna take out all of our stabilizers, set them aside. You'll remove all of your perm rods or your texture tools out of the hair. That's awesome. Just gave us some body and some bounce, a little bit of wave. Take your end papers off as you go, makes it a little faster. And being conscious of the customer's face, I will apply a little bit more solution just to make sure there's all the pieces are evenly saturated, I didn't miss any, and to help gently massage out any of those lines of demarcation. Now you don't wanna go crazy and make anything fuzzy, but you do wanna gently rub and just blur those sections through. And you can see with the Biolage Neutralizer, it will gently lather up, which is great because we're emulsifying it through to make sure all those strands are saturated with the neutralizer. And what the neutralizer is, is it restabilizes those bonds and sets everything back into place. This is also a great time to remind your client not to shampoo their hair for 48 hours. They can rinse it, they can wet it, they can put a little bit of light conditioner, but no shampoo for 48 hours. So once you've emulsified that through and got your lines of demarcation out, then you can go through and just thoroughly rinse again with warm water. And then we're gonna apply a little bit of our acid milk rinse. So again, this is our raw acid milk rinse. And we're gonna go through and apply that through the links and ends and do a nice scalp massage. As you know, the client's favorite part is the scalp massage and the relaxation at the sink and this is a great time to help relieve tension and stress and you know from having all that solution and the rods being tight it's a nice relaxation and softens the scalp so a great thing is to do a little scalp massage usually you can gently have them lean up and kind of work your fingers across the back of the nape usually do about three passes of each thing medium to firm pressure you can then come on to the temple region and do little circles there. Come through the top with your thumbs down the center in little circles. And then once you've done a couple light passes with a little massage, then you can speed up a little bit like a normal shampoo and be a little bit more invigorating. And that's just gonna revitalize them and help them feel fresh and better. And they're gonna have that nice soft coconut fragrance. And the acid milk rinse is gonna help close down the cuticle, make everything super shiny and in great condition. And you can see we have these 
awesome waves and curls going on. We'll be able to wear a nice natural wavy curly look, or if we want to get volume and fullness, we'll be able to style that into a nice pompadour. So this is our great man wave look that we've created. We did a nice center section down like a mohawk. We did straight rods and we did the width and depth of each rod. We work with Biolage Acid Wave and we use Total Results products to prep and prepare the hair. And now I'm gonna use a little bit of the Keep Me Vivid Cream and just work a little bit of this right through the lengths and ends. And that's gonna give it a really soft feel. So if somebody just wants to let it air dry natural, it's a nice soft cream that's just gonna keep it from getting out of control in the humid weather, but just separate those curls a little bit. That looks awesome. So just some nice natural waves. Great, everything tends to be taking on that late 80s, early 90s feel of trends and fashion. I'm sporting my mullet, so just having some fun with hair and texture and being able to work in these nice curls to be able to do different looks of natural curls and waves. You could blow it out and have some different looks. So this is if you would just let it air dry natural and kind of do some curls, this would be a perfect look. We'll also go through and show you if we blow it out what the finished result would be that way as well. Cool. And that's our final look of our man wave. We just blew it out a little bit with that velvetizer from our color obsessed. It was awesome. Thank you. You look awesome. <laughs>